This is Marcy Mallory, president of the Pennsylvania Parks and Forest Foundation, coming to you again from my backyard. In addition to being the president of the foundation, I am a practicing yogini and a certified yoga instructor. And today I thought I would share with you two poses that you might find helpful during this somewhat stressful time in which we're all living. The first pose is called mountain pose and it's a very foundational pose in yoga. And I find it helps me to feel balanced. And I oftentimes do this even um, on in a day-to-day -day basis when I feel the need to um, shift from being stressed to feeling like I have some control. And it'll do a number of things for you. Uh, in addition to making you feel strong, it can help you move from operating in the sympathetic nervous system, which is that fight or flight that comes with stress, to the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps us to feel more calm. So for mountain pose, it's a very simple pose. My dog's trying to come out of the house. Come on out, Isabel, push. Um, you, what you wanna do is you wanna push down into your feet. Um, I like to keep my feet about hip width apart. This is what's most comfortable for me, so you find what's comfortable for you. You can imagine that your feet are cars. You want to push down um, into all four tires of those, those feet. You're pushing down. You want to engage your legs by slightly lifting up your kneecaps and turning your thighs inward just a little bit. Now, key to this is your pelvis. You want to move your pelvis, tuck it in just a little bit, but not so far that you lose that beautiful S-curve in your back. You're going to tuck it in. So it almost feels like your pelvis is a bowl and, and you're holding on to your energy. So you're pushing down into your feet. Your legs are engaged. You want to pull the energy up your body by lifting your shoulders up, back, down, and around, bringing the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together on your back. And then feel the energy lifting up out of the crown of your head, making you taller and stronger. So you have a, a line of energy going all the way up to the sky and down into the earth or into your floor if you're doing this inside. Now this is mountain pose. You can take it one step farther by breathing in, reaching up to the sky into extended mountain pose. But again, you wanna make sure that your, your shoulders are down. We're all wearing our shoulders up around our ears right now because of stress, but bring them back down into a more relaxed pose and send that message to your body that you want to be relaxed. And exhale, and that's mountain pose. Now the next step in mountain that I want to take you to is tree pose. Now this is the year of the tree um, that we've been claiming all, all along with through the Pennsylvania Parks and Forest Foundation. And tree pose does a number of things. One, it'll build your balance. Two, it helps you to calm down because you are focused on your breathing and focusing on your balance. But there are a couple safety things I want to talk about before we go into tree pose. We're going to be lifting our foot to the inside of our thigh. And there's a variety of positions. We can take it low, medium, or high. But the place you don't want to push is on your inner kneecap because that's dangerous. A way to work your balance, too, is to find a focal point. So you can either look, cast your eyes down and look a few feet in front of you, or look up and find an object that isn't moving. Here in my yard, I'm looking at a, a beautiful um, quaking aspen tree. Uh, so that'll be my focal point. So we're gonna breathe in. Oh, the other thing that I wanna remind you is to make sure, again, that you have that pelvic tuck because you'll notice a difference and play around with it because it'll help your balance. And if you are balance challenged, um, and we all are at various points of time, feel free to put your hand up against the wall, put your hand on the back of a chair, or once you have your knee up, placing that. Because that'll give you another point of contact. It might make you feel more secure in the pose. So for me today, I'm gonna go with inside of my calf because I find when I go up here, I, this part of me is muscling, and I wanna use balance and my breathing to help me come back, back to a more um, calm point. So I'm gonna breathe in, Push down through your left leg to begin. Reach up through your head. Lift your leg and bring it either to the inside of your foot, inside of your ankle, inside of your calf, or all the way up to the inside of your thigh. I'm going here. You're gonna rotate that right leg out and you can bring your hands into what we call heart center. You can stay here or you can become your favorite tree. And since I'm looking at the quaking aspen, I'm gonna become the quaking aspen. 
and I'm going to breathe slowly in through my nose and out through my nose. Just a few deep breaths. And if you find that you're swaying, that's okay, because if you've ever watched a tree, it sways. And if you fall out of it, that's okay too. Just come back in. Find your tree. You may stay here as long as you want. And I'll put on an exhale. We're going to breathe out. Bring our hands down. Back in the heart center. And we're going to shift our feet, because we want to be balanced on both sides. So root your right foot into the ground. Reach your head up towards the sky. Get that mountain pose again. And then on an inhale, bring your foot up, either to the inside of your ankle, the inside of your calf, or all the way up to the inside of your thigh. You might notice that my left leg doesn't point to the side as much as my right leg. We all have structural differences, so it's okay. Our bodies are all different. There's no perfect pose. Find your tree. Bring your hands in. Breathe up to find your perfect tree. Make sure you're reaching up, three lines of energy into the ground, into the sky, and out through that left leg. And exhale. And out through the leg. So these are just two quick poses that I wanted to share with you. I'll share some others throughout the week. Um, you don't have to have a full yoga practice to find the benefits of yoga. It really is about stepping uh, aside from our day-to-day -day routine, changing um, our, our breathing, and tapping into some resources that we have within ourselves all the time to help us to reduce our stress. So I hope you find some benefit out of it, um, and I hope you're all doing well. You know, we appreciate everybody's cooperation during this very difficult time and practicing social distancing and following the guidelines set forth, set forth by the Department of Health. So we look forward to seeing you in our parks eventually uh, down the road when we can all gather again. Um, but for now, we'll wave to you from a distance. Thank you.